Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at how we can install Nixio using the Nixio installer, um, which should make your installation and future upgrades of Nixio fairly easy and painless. Hopefully this will be helpful to you. All right, here we go. So Nixio Automation, uh, this is an open source project you can find on GitHub. Uh, here's our main page. Just a very quick introduction here. Um, it's, uh, it was designed for test automation to begin with, but uh, in the recent um, effort, we have put in quite a bit of uh, time and, and design uh, changes to allow for uh, Nexo automation to be used for more of a business process automation as well. So if this is of interest to you, you can check it out from here. Okay, but today we're going to look at uh, how to install Nexo. Uh, Nexo really doesn't come with any um, installer per se, a program to install. Um, from, a, from a GitHub, you can literally, let me just go there right now. From Git, GitHub, you can just go into the release page and find the release that you want, and uh, it's just a zip file that you have to unzip, and that's pretty much all there is. But with a, uh, a installer that we have created, which is just a, a more of a helper tool, you will make this process a little bit easier, slightly more painless, so we can see how that uh, can work out. Okay. Um, before before we go there, I want to talk about um, some of the uh, prerequisites to install Nixio. So Nixio runs on Java, so you will need a version of Java to run on your uh, laptop uh, as well. Uh, the latest version at this time is uh, JDK 14. So I will put all this uh, as a notes to the video. Uh, when the video is uh, uploaded. And so here is the official uh, JDK download page from, from Oracle. Uh, uh, this may or may not be suitable for every, everyone because this, this will have some commercial implication or, or licensing implication. Uh, but this is a, a fine option if you can afford or if, you're, if it's suitable for your um, company or your environment, this is a great option. Otherwise, there is a open source version of that, which is here. And so you can just download from this and install JDK from here. Other than that, there are many other versions of uh, Open JDK um, distribution that are also very um, uh, excellent as far as its quality and its uh, stability. Right? There's one here from uh, Amazon. This is called Corrado. So the, the earliest version is, is 11. Uh, Adopt Open JDK also has uh, JDK 14 as well. This is also very uh, well liked and known in the uh, Java community. So a bunch of options, you just have to install one of them. The uh, minimum version will be JDK 1.8. Right? So you can install anywhere from 1.8 you know, to the latest 14. I would recommend if you're just doing this fresh that you just take the latest version. Usually that has um, better performance, better throughput, uh, security fixes, you know, that sort of thing. So it, it's generally better to go with the latest version if you can, the, the latest official version is what I meant, okay? So that's uh, that's uh, first thing. So so this uh, video will now cover um, the insertion of, of JDK. It's pretty straightforward. It, it has a wizard. You kind of just click through that and you generally can get past it pretty quickly, okay? Um, so as I say, this is our, uh, oops, this is our, um, uh, documentation page, you can click on this link to get to the page for the GitHub uh, where you can find, you know, next to this open source project. So the source code is in here. There's a bunch of other stuff that's going on here as well. Um, while you're here, do give us a like if you can, right? That would be very nice and very much appreciated. Uh, and as I mentioned early on, uh, uh, Nixio Automation doesn't really have an installer because it doesn't really need to be installed, right? It's really just a series of files that you have to unzip into a directory structure and then that's that's really all there is to it. But from time to time, uh, when you want to update Nexio or if you want to uh, roll back to an earlier version of Nexio, um, you do have to you know keep going back to the GitHub release page and to find the right version and so forth. And so to make things a little bit easier, we have created a, a companion project also in GitHub called Nexio Installer which is right here, okay? And so what this project would do is it will create a very small uh, executable um, uh, on your, uh, on your uh, local directories uh, from which then you can install Nexio 
and you can pick the versions you want to install and there's a few other options. We're going to get to that in a few minutes, right? Uh, so this is meant to be helpful to you. And, uh, and as I also said before, this will be a one-time effort. So you, you do the installation one time and then when you're done, generally thereafter, you should be pretty fast to be able to just update your Nexio to the next version if you want to do that, right? Okay, so um, assuming that you already have JDK installed, then uh, now we're going to try to set up our Nexio installer. And then from the Nexio installer, then we will install Nexio from that point. Okay, I have here a empty directory, C projects. Okay, so uh, for Nexio automation, we like to keep everything under C projects, or if you're on Mac, it will be under your home directory projects, right? Or if you're on Linux, same thing under your home directory, a directory called projects. Uh, that way, we'll keep all the uh, Nexio related things in the same. Um, base directory just for referencing points, just you know, make it easy to reference things, and also to create kind of a convention uh, between you and your team or other Nexio uh, uh, engineers. And that way, having the same um, kind of structure would just simplify, you know, integrations and discussions and that sort of things. Right? Okay, so we're going to put everything under, under Nexio. We want to install Nexio installer also under C projects. Okay, so. Uh, if you come to this project, and again, I'll provide the link um, uh, in the in the v, uh, when the video has been uploaded. So here is the link to download the Nexio installer. So you just do a click and go ahead and download this. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to unzip this directory into into here into a directory called Nexio installer. So I'm going to create a directory now called Nexio. Installer, and then I'll just copy this into here. Okay, inside the bin directory, you will see a series of files. Uh, for the for the PC users or Windows users, then these are the files that you should be concerned with. Actually, just these two: the installer and the install latest, which I'll go into some detail uh, in a few minutes. If you're on Linux or uh, Mac, then you'll be looking at these two files, right? Okay, and so if you want to just install the latest, meaning you're not gonna, you know, specify what you want to install, then simply double click on this will get you to start installing Nexio, right? Um, on the Mac or on uh, Linux, there might be a little bit more work to do because uh, you have to set your um, your execute flag, right? You have to make these executable. So uh, depending on how you unzip and so forth, they may not be executable. So you have to kind of set up to be executable. Uh, I'll go to that in a few minutes, but I want to just go ahead and uh, install this now. So you could just double click to install, but I, I want to by now show you how to do that from a command line so we can see in more detail what it's doing. And uh, just just for just for understanding, uh, for future, you can simply just double click and just go ahead and install the latest. Right? So let me go ahead and start my uh, Windows console here. Okay, and so if I want to install, like I said, you can just double click on that file or you can come into console and do an install latest like that. Okay, and just let Nexo start uh, doing its work. Now Nexo uh, installer, before installing Nexo, you want to make sure that uh, existing Nexo automation is not running at the same time. You will create quite a bit of problem if that should be the case, right? So make sure you stop. If you have, if you have Nexo running at the same time or at, at, at this time, you want to stop that first. Um, the installer will do a little bit of work here, this part right here, to check to make sure that uh, any of the possible things that the Nexo will be using is not running. If not, it will try to, you know, it will prompt you and you will try to stop those processes. Okay, and um, then the, uh, then after this process, then the installer will go ahead and check to make sure it, it, it can find a, a version, but it, it will find the latest version from the GitHub repo, uh, the GitHub page. And the latest version right now is this 3.30897 build, right? So it's now installing and it's gonna take a little while. Depending on your internet connection, again, this, this may be fast, this may be slow. Uh, apparently on my it's not that fast, but it may be very fast for you if you want to, if you have a good internet connection. Okay, while it's doing that, uh, let me just show you about the on the on the Mac side what, what that would look like. So let's suppose that you're on the Mac or on, on uh, uh, Linux. And um, so you have all these 
uh, shell scripts on the Mac, what you have to do is you have to run a command. You might have to run a command depending on again how you do the uninstall. I mean, uh, unzip. Sometimes you know the the execute flag flag will just be kept as it is. Sometimes it'll be reset, right? So in case it doesn't run, then do a ch mod, right? So just like uh, change uh, your mod, and then uh, do a minus f seven five five, which means to execute to, to to allow for execution on all the shell scripts like that. You won't run here because I'm on a PC, but on a Mac, you would just or Linux would do something like that, and that would allow these files to be executable on the Mac or Linux. Okay. Um, if you want to find out find out more about the 755, you know, please uh, Google for this. Uh, this basically means that anyone can execute, but you also have the rights to uh, write to that file. Okay. All right. Let's come back to this other window, and it looks like it's finished installing. So here you can see that Nixo has been uh, downloaded, and then after that, then the installer went ahead and unzip it, and uh, unzip it into that directory, which is the kind of a standard Nixo installation directory or Nexo Home as we call that. And you just do a, a few very basic validation to make sure that you have the latest version of Nexo installed, right? And at the end, you have this little line that says, this version is now completed. Now, if you go back to our Windows Manager, you will see a new directory right now, Nexo Core is in the install, and then you have a, a, a very familiar Nexo uh, directory structure. The version.txt will have the same information as you see here right, in that file. Um, actually, I'm just going to print out from here now to, to show you what that looked like. Okay. There it is. Right. So this file is not really being in use for uh, any kind of automation, but it's just a good way to be able to check if you're looking at Nexo Core, what version do you have? So looking at this file will be a very quick way to figure out what you have installed. And that's it. Now you have installed Nexo and you're ready to start your automation. Okay. Um, now, in the future, if I want to, so let me close these these uh, console now. In the future, if I want to update my Nexio, then simply I'll come to the Nexio installer, go to the bin directory, and just double click on install latest, right? And then, oh yeah, Windows PC will have something like that if you're using Windows 10, and then just let the installer take over and it just does its job. Okay. Um, and that's it. Now it might be a good idea to put this as a shortcut, maybe to your desktop. Okay, so um, there. Uh, one second. Show. Okay, so maybe you want to take this and just do a uh, what? What is that? Let's see. Control Shift and then drag it into the desktop. So you can create a link, and that way, just to make it easier, to, you can double click on this. Uh, right from the desktop. It's just for just for convenience. Really, that's not required, but it may be of some use. You know, just for convenience for some people. Okay. Let's also look at the installer. This is a little bit different than Nexio uh, install latest. This will always install the latest. This will give you a bit of an option, so you can decide what you want to do. Right. So let me go ahead and open the new console here. Okay, now if I run the installer, then what I'm going to get is basically, again, the same check to make sure that uh, Nix, uh, Nixio is not running at the same time. Now, this, this check came up because I'm running the install over here, so I, I have that, that check, but that's okay. Really, it, it generally, you won't see that. Right? Okay, so it's going to make sure that Nixio is not uh, running at, at, at this time, and then it will give you a bit of a prompt, and from the prompt, then you have the option of what you want to install. So if I do L, right here, L, right, just to do a listing, then uh, installer will go to GitHub and find all the versions of uh, Nexio that's available and show it to you, right? So now that you, you have all these versions, you can, let's say you want to take uh, this specific version, let's just say, and then you can say uh, install that version. Then Nexio, uh, the installer will now go ahead and install this ver specific version for you. So you can pick and choose your version by doing something like that. Before I do that, I just also want to show you about the configure. So in this configure C, right, then you have a few other options. You can decide where you want to install Nexio. This is the recommended location. If, if you must put it somewhere else, for example, maybe you want to put it on a different drive, right, if you're on Windows, or if, might have, if you might have some permission issue, you want to put it on some other place. 
or maybe you want, you want a kind of a VM, a shared machine, and you want to put it somewhere else where others can get to it, so then you can modify it from here. For me, I'm just going to keep it the same, so enter. Um, and then you can also have a backup directory. So ex existing Nexio installation will be backed up uh, one version from the current version, right? So basically, you can put it in the same location here, and the default name will be Nexio Core.bak, like that. Uh, if you don't want anything, you can just, you know, escape that. But if you want to change that, you can also change it to put it somewhere else. So that way you can keep older version. Uh, and the only practical reason for that is just so that you can switch back and forth between two versions uh, just by renaming the directory name, right? So you can do it very quickly if you want to do that, right? Um, otherwise, you can always come back to the installer and then just install the version that you want. So that is also a possibility. You can also keep the, the zip file if you want to. Nexo installer will delete the zip file for you uh, because generally there's no good use to keep that around. But if you want to keep it around, you can say yes, and then you can keep that file around. Okay. Uh, and then that's it. That was the configure. So once you have configured it, you can come back to uh, install. So I, and then I can pick uh, whatever that, this version maybe. Okay. And then just go and install. And then off it goes installing that specific version for me now. Okay, I'm gonna start it for now for a second because I, I want to show you guys something else. So all those options can also be done here, right? Uh, you can specify specify the command line like install that, and so then the, uh, this this uh, batch file will will, will uh, detect that there is some kind of a parameters and you will execute based on that parameter. So you won't get a menu like this, but instead you will get to basically from here directly right you just start to install for you directly so that's also a possibility and this can be very helpful if you want to uh, let's say uh, run some batch scripts so that uh, you can run the same batch commands across multiple machines and so that all these machines have this exact same version of Nexio if you need that right then this would be one way to do something like that okay uh, that's for installing Nexio locally on your laptop and uh, it's pretty straightforward. The, these things that I just talked about here works the same way for uh, Mac and Linux as well, as well as Windows, right? So the only difference is you run the, you, you will run the, the SH version instead of the CMD version. Okay. Um, in addition to this, I just wanna, and so uh, if, you, if you are just here to listen to how to install Nixio, you, you've got it, that's, that's how you do it. Uh, from now on, you just have to, you know, Double click on the uh, install latest, that one, and you know, go get a cup of coffee, you come back, you have the latest Nixio. It should be it should be this simple. Okay. Now, a uh, little bit more kind of a bonus content. So let's just say that you also want to do similar thing like this, but in a, a CI C D pipeline, such as in Jenkins, right? So how can I do something like in this in Jenkins? Uh, as many of you know, you can run Nixio automations through Jenkins so that you can create a, a very elaborate test or build test or build deploy test kind of a pipeline, right? To do something like that, then you will need Nexo to be installed on wherever the Jenkins is running from, whatever the Jenkins uh, agents is running from. And so from time to time, you also need to update the Nexo version on those um, agents, right? So, so to make it easy, uh, we can create a script that would uh, install the Nexio installer and then using the Nexio installer to install Nexio, right? We can create a script to do something like that. Um, and that way, that script can then be uh, wrapped into a, say, a Jenkins job, right? Uh, or, or whatever the CI tool that you might be using, just wrap it up into a, a kind of a, a job in, in that CI tool. And then that job can then be executed, you know, uh, as and when you need to. Or even you can just run it on demand. I mean, sorry, uh, run it on a timer. You can also do that, right? if that's uh, useful at all. So I just wanna show quickly um, how that script would look like. Right? So I have uh, in here two different scripts. I just wanna show you guys this one. And again, I can make this available um, uh, when the video has been uploaded. Uh, this is the one for shell script. So in case your Jenkins environment is in uh, Linux uh, or some kind of a Unix flavor, or this one is in the Windows flavor, right? Uh, on Linux, it's, and I'll go through both of them. On Linux, uh, most likely everything you need is already available on Linux as far as downloading and so on and so forth. So that should be pretty straightforward. 
on Windows, it might not be. So uh, to do Windows, we have uh, two other small um, utility tools as a prerequisite. You need a wget or a curl, right? Either, either wget or curl is needed. And um, I'll show you the, the, the download page as well. And then one more is uh, unzip, right? Okay, so uh, these are all both available for free and they are both open source for Windows environment. So here is the one for wget. And the installation, again, very straightforward. You literally just, you know, you can just take the exe and just put it somewhere in, in your execution path and you're good to go, right? You can do a zip one as well, you know, a little bit smaller. Um, and then here's the one for, um, I think this is the one for, uh, well, this should be the one for unzip. There it is, that's the one for unzip. So you can come to this page and just download the unzip and again, uh, open source, very simple to, uh, to it, there's really no installation, you just download the exe and just use it right away. Okay, so let's do the Windows uh, version first, we'll go through this right now. So you can create the scripts and put it into your Jenkins job or whatever CI tool you may have, right? Most CI tools, uh, in fact all CI tools that I know of, support some kind of a script execution. So you literally just copy this same, this exact script and put it into your CI tool, right? And so what this job is doing is the following. It's going to download Nixio, uh, sorry, it's going to download Nixio installer, unzip the installer, and then install the latest version of Nixio. Now you can take this script and then modify a little bit to your likings, right? Uh, but let me go through this. So here, first thing is we delete, we make sure that the previous, previously downloaded Nixio installer is removed, just in case you need that, right? So we'll remove that. We'll go ahead and download that, right, uh, into this temp directory. Okay, and this is a, a variable that you will have to specify. So this will be equivalent to that location, right? So this URL will be set to this environment variable. Okay, so you do a download. In case download is gonna fail, then you will exit right there. Okay, so we just have a little error checking right here. Once you've downloaded successfully, we want to unzip it. So before we unzip it, let's make sure that the Nixio installer home, again, this is a variable you have to set up. Uh, this Set, make sure that this is uh, right now uh, to, be, to be removed. So we, we start clean, right? So you have this directory set up. This could be C projects, Nixio installer, or uh, for Mac, you'll be right, home directory projects, Nixio installer. And make sure, uh, we wanna first make sure that that directory is empty. Again, if we cannot do that, we're gonna exit because uh, continuing from this point will be rather unstable, okay? If that is successful, we're gonna create the directory brand new and then we'll unzip, right? So this is unzip two right here. We'll unzip this Nixio installer into that directory. Once again, little error checking right here. Once you have done that, then we will go ahead and go into this directory and run the uh, install latest. And then you would just be, depending on the internet speed, a few minutes, right? To install Nixio. And then after this, you have the latest Nixio install. So this can be set up uh, into your CI pipeline as a job, and then you can, either run this on, on schedule or on demand, or you can chain this up into some other, uh, some other you know, bigger kind of a pipeline if you want to do that, okay? Just remember that you need the wget and the unzip tool first install. Uh, you might want to modify this. Maybe you don't want to install Nixio installer uh, all the time. So you can remove this and just run this part, right? So that's uh, an option that you, you might have. Okay, for uh, Linux, it's very similar. We're doing basically the same thing, but syntax is different, right? So first we remove the old installer, make sure we, we don't have the, the previous you know, zip file lingering about. Then we go ahead and use wget to download it. Again, this is a, uh, a variable that you need to set up, a system uh, environment variable that need to be set up. And then uh, once that's downloaded, we will remove the old uh, Nixio installer uh, information from, from the, the home directory, again, available you need to set up. Once that's removed, we'll recreate that directory again, and then we'll unzip right here, okay? And along the way, we're doing all this error checking, right? So make sure that the installation is successful. Every step of the way, everything is run successfully. If not, it will exit, and then your job will reflect that errors, and then you can handle it from that point, yeah? So uh, create a directory, unzip it, and then and then here's the chmod that we just talked about early on, right? So we wanna make sure that we can execute the shell scripts. So we'll cd into the Nixio installer home directory slash bin. 
uh, make sure that all the scripts are executable. Go ahead and execute the latest. And then again, with, with a few minutes, you know, uh, five, six minutes, I'm not sure, depending on the internet speed. If a few, few minutes, then things will be installed. We'll do one last check to make sure everything was okay, and then, then you're done. So uh, both scripts can, uh, can be helpful for you to uh, implement mixer installation across your Jenkins environment, right? If you have a, a huge Jenkins farm, this could be very, very useful. Then you can run this on, on any agents or even on multiple agents if you set up the job to run in parallel. Right? So, okay, this is uh, all for today for this video. Um, I hope this is helpful and help you to install your Nixio in an efficient and, and a, a painless uh, and very quick manner. Um, if you have any questions, please just let me know and uh, I'll try to be helpful. We're going to look at next um, setting up the first Nixio project. So, Thank you. See you there. Bye.